What's up everybody, you know what this is, it's your boy Will, and I just thought I'd do a real quick video giving you a recap of what I thought about the CNN two-night event of the GOP town hall in South Carolina. Uh, Wednesday night we have Ben Carson, Ted Cruz, Senator Ted Cruz, and Senator Marco Rubio uh, tonight, which is Thursday night. Uh, we had uh, Governor John Kasich, former Governor Jeb Bush, and business mogul term politician and presidential candidate uh, Donald J. Trump. So, my thoughts. But first, let me say this. I know my videos are not all super detailed. Uh, I'm on a 5 megapixel camera. Um, I don't have a bunch of graphics because I don't really have a corporation behind me. I'm just doing this because I want to talk about politics. I love politics. I know a lot about politics. Well, at, least I, at least I think I know a lot about politics. Uh, something that I've always loved. Um, I have a love for my country. I have a love for God, country, family. And, you know, I always want to make sure that um, somebody out there, namely me, is giving you the, keeping it 100 with you about what's going on, why is it doing what it's doing, and just giving you my opinion. So you're not going to get clips. You're not going to get a bunch of pretty graphics and all that kind of stuff. You're just going to get the raw, real me. That's it. So with that being said, let's uh, get to it. Um, basically, let's go with Ben Carson first. I liked Ben Carson from the day that he stood up to the president at the prayer of breakfast and he gave him the what for about Obamacare and how it's going to ruin the country and how it was. I mean, to see somebody stand up to Obama when you don't see the press stand up to Obama, you don't see anyone stand up to Obama because people worship this man. They worship Obama. They 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 see him as a a, a Christ like figure. And I think Obama sees himself as a Christ like figure. And how dare anyone even challenge the boy king the the young messiah and when he did that i was standing and cheering like wow does somebody actually stood up to this guy and can articulate a viewpoint that's coming from my perspective because as you know poll after poll after poll the american people between 54 and 60 percent of us did not want obamacare so when ben carson stood up and spoke for us i was like wow you know even i thought man this guy would probably be a pretty cool president um and so people start drafting him for president. And let's be real. No one knew that Ben Carson was this Ben Carson. I mean, at least I didn't. I didn't know that he was so soft spoken. I didn't know that the guy was kind of awkward. I, I really didn't know. I mean, he didn't come off that way at the prayer breakfast and some of the initial interviews he did afterwards. So I was kind of taken aback about how, you know, this kid from Detroit who grew up poor, who said he had all these anger issues, you know, I'm, I'm cool with that, but where's the fire in the belly? Like he doesn't, I mean, he's a, he's a gentleman. The dude is a pure gentleman. He's a Christ loving, pure conservative gentleman. But when the fire came down, which I knew it was because he is such a gentleman, he is such a good person and his skin just happens to be black. I knew that black radio, I knew that, uh, the liberal media was going to come on him, especially when he started to pull ahead and actually beat Donald Trump in certain Iowa polls. I was like, okay, here it comes. They're coming after him. We're going to see what this guy's made of. And Hey, he wasn't made of a lot. I mean, they took him down about his own story. Stuff that he wrote in his book, that's his story, but he didn't know how to fight. He didn't know how to craft his story. He didn't know how to, to fight back about his own, auto, his own biography. So he let them take him down with his own words. You should know how to defend yourself about yourself. If you can't defend yourself about your own story, how are you going to defend policies that are conservative? So I just didn't, th he just doesn't have a fight. So honestly, I wish Mr. Dr. Carson would just drop out. I think he would be a great Surgeon General, maybe a Secretary of Human Services or something in, in, in urban development, something like that. But for a president, no, nah, he just don't got the fire in the belly. He doesn't have the kahuna. He doesn't have what we need. Um, he doesn't have the right temperament. Uh, let's go with Marco Rubio. Marco Rubio, on the other hand, is a very polished Sometimes I think too polished senator, freshman senator. Um, he hasn't even finished out a full term. And that's a problem I had with Obama. I'm going to keep it real, keep it 100 with you. I don't like that he hasn't fully developed. But I think he is a lot further off 
and a lot better off than Obama was. One, because he's conservative. I mean, I mean, that's all you need to know. Obama is a far leftist radical uh, Alinskyite that we I knew from day one would be horrible for the country. But this is the what the opposite of Obama in a way. Um, I like Marco's polish. I like his youth. I like his vigor. I mean, he's a Generation Xer like I am. And um, I think he would make a great president, except that I think that he's too, too polished sometimes. Like, he doesn't know how to, like, what was shown in the New Hampshire debate when Christie exposed him, he doesn't know how to pivot. He doesn't know how to, to bob and weave and think on his feet and be fresh and, and new. He's so rehearsed. And I think that's going to hurt him in a general election because the press is going to be so vicious on the side of Hillary Clinton that because they want her to be president because they're all leftist radicals themselves, that he will get caught up in his own 30 second sound bites and not know how to fight back instead of and, and, and pivot and, 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 and think on his feet and be spontaneous is the word I'm looking for. So that, that worries me. Um, then you have uh, Ted Cruz. Ted Cruz, man, I got to give it to this dude. This dude is, he's, he's good, man. He's, he's good. But the thing, sometimes he's too good for his own britches. Like he, he, he talks so much sometimes that he digs his own hole and buries himself in it. And I love that he's conservative. I love that he's evangelical. I love that he loves his country. He truly does love his country. He truly does want to serve his country. And I think he would make a great president because he's a true constitutionalist. I mean, out of all the candidates, I would say Marco Rubio and Ted Cruz are my favorites because they are true conservatives. Let me say that again. True conservatives. Not fake ones. Not just change their mind. Because I, hey, but you know what? I digress. I used to be a Democrat for a long time because I honestly believe the hype. I honestly believe the, the, the garbage that people was feeding me that conservatism meant racism instead of actually learning more about it myself and realizing that, wait a minute, I agree with a lot of this stuff, but I refuse to agree with it. I refuse to let myself be immersed in it because I'm black. And as a black person, how dare I look at conservatism as an alternative philosophy because I'm still not my race. But I was always a conservative, but working with Democrats, people who I didn't agree with, people who I knew were who were using my community, who were misusing my community. But they looked like me. So I said, hey, let me be on that team because we're wearing the same jersey. But that doesn't really work. But let me go on. And so tonight we had Donald Trump, Kasich, and 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 Bush. Kasich, Bush, just drop out. I mean, seriously. Like Kasich is a really nice guy. He's the governor of my state. And I would vote for him again for governor, but he's just not what we really need right now. We don't need a moderate. We've had Romney, we've had McCain. We need a true constitutional conservative. So that disqualifies Kasich right there. Um, Jeb Bush, his last name just disqualifies him. I'm sorry. Jeb Bush, he's awkward. He doesn't he doesn't think well on his feet. I mean, he's even more awkward than W. That's that's saying something. When you're more awkward than W, you are awkward. I mean, that's just terrible. So I'm sorry, Jeb Bush, just drop out, man. You're two, three percent. You spent like a hundred million dollars. Just just go, man. Like, just go. Just Wave side arm. So I saved the best for last. Y'all know I was saving the best for last. Donald Trump. All you trumpets out there, I tell you, man. I, I don't understand what you see in this. No, I do understand. You, the celebrity. It's just like the Obama bots. The celebrity, the 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 draw. He's magnetic. I mean, Trump is magnetic. He couldn't have a successful TV show and host a successful TV show for 14 years or 14 seasons, rather, have different iterations of his show and not be magnetic and have a great personality. And see, I think a lot of you trumpets are getting caught up in personality and not really understanding that he is not a conservative. 
He has never been a conservative. He is a rhino, a Republican in name only. He's no better than Boehner. He's no better than McConnell. He's no better than Orrin Hatch. They are all fakers. At least Orrin Hatch and them have been consistently fake over the years. But this guy, he just he just flip-flops like crazy. I mean, just tonight they exposed him for lying about the Iraq war, saying he was against the war before it began. No, he was against the war after it began. In those first few weeks, after the initial mission accomplished, we realized that, wait a minute, the insurgency started. And when the insurgency started, that's when Trump, when our soldiers started to get, when we needed to be supporting them the most, that's when he was like, Oh, no, I'm against the war now. Come on, man. Trump is phony, people. The man is dangerous, one. He is an egomaniac. He is a true egomaniac, just like most celebrities are. It's all about him. It's not about the American people. It's never been about the American people. It's never been about the Constitution. It's never been about restoring America to its greatness after the seven disastrous years of the Obama reign. It's about him. It's about him. And if you can't see that, then you are blinded by celebrity. You're blinded by anger. You're so mad at the establishment that you're willing to cut off your nose to spite your face. We can't do that, people. We cannot do that. Oh, Trump is Obama, just white, old, with really crappy hair. I mean, it's just amazing how you trumpets are so die hard no matter what this dude says i mean he 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 he, he said george bush was a liar the thing is i agree george w bush was a horrible president i don't care what nobody says he was not a conservative medicare b the, the biggest expansion with unpaid mandates left and right a war that cost us trillions and blood and treasure. I mean, come on, people. Dude was horrible. And Trump knew. <laughs> I, I just, you know what? I'm not even, I, I'm 12 minutes in. Nobody's going to watch a 12 minute video. I'm, I'll be happy if I get 30 views off this. But I just can't understand trumpets. I really can't. I, I really don't. But in closing, everybody, you know, Right now, I would say that Marco Rubio and Cruz are my favorites. Um, I like Marco's youth and his exuberance. I love his his energy. I love Cruz's constitutional conservative philosophy. It's rock hard. I mean, these two guys are our best hope to beat Hillary. And wait a minute, I might as well say Bernie Sanders, too, because I don't know. Bernie Sanders might be getting up in that behind that big old flabby booty of uh, Hillary Clinton because he's only two or three points behind her, which is within the margin of error in South Carolina. So we might see an upset on Saturday. So everybody, don't vote for Trump. I'm sorry. Don't vote for Trump. Don't waste your vote. Dude is crazy. I mean, dude is nuts. He ain't, OK, he's not nuts. Let me take that back. He's a great business person. He's a good celebrity. I would I would vote for him to stay on the island, but don't vote for him to be president. Okay? This your boy Will. I'm out.